Hey, it's Lama here, and welcome to another in-between bit in my series preparing for Ark Survival Ascended. So in this video we tame ourselves a Max Level Bronto and a Zen Master Megatherium. As I said in my taming plan video, taming opportunities tend to just pop into existence when you're least expecting them. And in this case, I was actually heading to a regular Megatherium spawn next to the Redwoods when I spotted something else. A 150 Bronto. Let's go! Right. Let's see if we can find a spot to... I need to get his attention. I want to get him away from that other Bronto. So... Let's grab ourselves some Trank Arrows. Got a crossbow, we'll load it up. Don't want to go putting regular arrows in this guy. Okay. Alright, so now let's see if we can get his attention and get him over here. Uh, no, crossbow was the right thing. Just blindly stab buttons on the controller. And, oh, now, is that the one? There's two there, so I don't want to go... Yeah, that's her, 150 female Bronto. Alright, that should get her attention. Oh, yeah, I can hear it <laughs> stomping towards us. Oh, okay, yeah, that was always going to happen. Okay, now, if we can coax him over this way, I can sit up on this platform and knock it out from there. Ah, okay. I don't seem to have uh, attracted the interest I was hoping for. That's that's funny actually, because Brontos usually like, they, they usually just aggro forever. Um, Alright, well I guess we could probably shoot it from up here. Can she get me? Oh, I don't think she can. Nope. That's... Oh, this is pretty sweet. If we can stay up here. Um, now, <laughs> now, these guys do take a lot of arrows to knock out. So, i tell you what, actually, they do this thing. Um, it looks like it's doing it now. They do this thing when they look like they're torpor running. Um, but don't be fooled. So... They tend to head off, and they head away from you, and then they turn around and come back. So, don't, like, when they finally do torpor run, they don't come back. So it's always hard to tell which is which, particularly once you've pumped a fair few arrows in them. Um, but they will do this a couple of times during the knockout process. So you see it's going to head away again. Actually, it's probably just vying for a better position that time. Sometimes they'll they'll really go, you know, they'll go a reasonable distance away, um, and you think they've gone, and then they uh, then you can hear them <laughs> coming back towards you. Oh, she's pretty well interested in this. This is good. Uh, this is still I got this is a uh, sort of like a two hundred percent mastercraft crossbow uh, we should probably make some more trank arrows to be honest uh, because we're gonna run out uh, where's she gone okay there you go so that's <laughs> there you go there she goes heading off into the distance so that's exactly what I was talking about um, all right, let's get some of these crafting and yeah, she's going. She's going. She's gonna. She's going all the way to the swamp. Hopefully, nothing aggro's on her. Hopefully, she doesn't stand on anything. <laughs> and here you go. So now you see she's on her way back. So not torpor running. Just when she went a fair distance, and then turns around and comes back again. So let's keep her interest there. Well, and we'll head back up, and hopefully, we can get that sweet spot again where she can't get up here and she can't oh what's that bit of server lag hey love your official servers all right and can she get up there let's see if we can i don't want to i don't want to jump off and end up falling off of here that would be bad there we go all right yeah, she can't get to us this is pretty good 
This is working pretty good. Oh, she's not happy. That was she did a nose nudge or whatever it is. Didn't get us. That's good. She's heading off again. Well, gonna come back around this way. Okay. Get a better position. I Again, I don't want to end up jumping off of the rock. That would be very bad. Where'd she go? Uh, okay, let's see if we can get up it a little higher. Oh. Gee, tech boots would make this so much easier. Oh, there she is. She's a big target. I should be able to hit her. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Hello. Okay, well, I guess we'll just sit here and keep pumping her full of arrows. Um, she might even be stuck there. That would be good. And um, maybe I'll just uh, bring you back when she's knocked out. All right. Okay, so she must be getting close to getting knocked out now. I'm just slowing down the pace of my shots um, so that I don't hit her after she starts getting... Uh, after she starts knocking out. Um, because otherwise that ruins the taming effectiveness. So, a bit of pause in between shots. Gives her a chance to drop if she's going to. And then if not, we take another shot. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> okay. Alright, so... <laughs> Uh, just a millisecond, yeah, look at that, 93.9% .9 effectiveness. Yeah, I can see you looking at me, RG, I know, that was <laughs> such a stupid thing to do. Alright, exactly what I was trying to avoid is what I did. <laughs> Alright, well now uh, we need some berries. These guys are like the easiest teams ever. Knock them out, feed them berries, and then just find something else to do at a render distance away from them. So let's head back to base grab the bear and get some berries. Now, I'm using the bear not because it gathers more berries than the parasaur, but it actually has a wider hit area, so I can gather more berries per hit. So this one will take 709 Mijo berries to tame, and if I had a lazy 54 exceptional kibble lying around, then I could use that. But to be honest, I have better uses for kibble, especially exceptional kibble, because we'll need that for Rex's Basilosaurus. So, Mijo Berries for the win. It'll stay knocked out for 5 hours and 20 minutes, so you could see why I didn't want to do what I did with the Baryonyx and wait for it to wake up and knock it out again to reset the effectiveness. Um, even, even on one times, she'll take 4 hours and 15 minutes to tame up, um, but no knocks required. Oh, that should do us. Okay, so this guy doesn't need any narcotics, but I tell you now, let's get rid of that, but I am not wasting narco berries. So let's uh, chuck them in mortar and pestle. There we go, that one's empty. Narco berries in there. Sweet. All right, let's grab some spoiled meat. We've got a load of that. There we go. Chuck that nope. on the fabricator, chuck it in with the narco berries, and let's get some narcotics going. Alright, that can happen while we're doing other stuff. Um, put the bear away. Afternoon, everybody. Alright, let's whack our major berries in the RG, and let's get back to the Bronto. Yeah, that should do us. Okay, here we go. Heading back. Got the tame tracker on. Makes it easier to find. Oh, hang on. <laughs> There's an alpha down there. We do not want that munching on our Bronto. That's a little too close for my liking. Oh, and another raptor. Okay, yeah. You need to die. Oh, 
Let's try and drag. I don't want to drag them towards the Bronto, so let's drag them away. Should be able to take these both out. The foam is going to get in the action. Nice. Collateral damage. Oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 no. You're not chasing that thing over to the Bronto. Alright, let's bring the Alpha back here and kill it. <laughs> Can I get him in the trap? No. Okay. He would have... Uh, actually, the trap's probably got offline protection. It's not mine. It's probably someone else's. But if it, if it didn't, he would have smashed it. Because um, Alpha Raptors go through stone like a hot knife through butter. Alright, let's get a bit of Stam. And it's taken a little bit of health off of us, but we'll be fine. Get rid of him. I'd rather have him out of the way than leave him with the chance of him uh, attacking the Bronto. And there we go. Alright, okay. Let's go and put some berries in this Bronto, shall we? Just around the corner, you can see why I was a little bit nervous. Um, so, when we were knocking this out, it did indeed get stuck in these rocks. Um, so it didn't move after the uh, the bit I'd cut from. Uh, I forgot to mention that before. So, it's actually reasonably well protected by the natural rocks. But... What we're going to do, we're going to throw these berries in and then we're going to head off at a render distance. These guys are like a set and forget, so chuck the berries in um, and go and find something else to do, basically, while it tames up. <laughs> That's uh, you got plenty of time. So chuck those in there and let's get out of here. Okay, so I logged off, uh, went to do some stuff. IRL stuff and then came back online later when it was tamed. Nice. So I guess from here we need to, so we're going to need a saddle uh, and then we're going to have to walk this guy all the way back to the base, um, which is quite a distance to be fair and there's a reasonable amount of dangerous stuff in between. So let's craft ourselves a saddle we need for that. We should have everything we need for a Bronto saddle, I would expect. Fibre hide, metal, yeah. We've probably already got it in the smithy, so let's learn that. Go to the smithy, and yeah, there you go. We can craft one straight away. Sweet. Alright, so we're going to grab that, and then we're going to head off to go and pick up our new team. Yeah. There she is. Nice. All right. So let's find a spot to land. And hopefully she's not stuck anymore. <laughs> we can get her out because didn't bring a cryo pod to free her from being stuck. I mean, technically not meant to be using them, I'm only kind of using them to uh, to store babies in between. But, no, oh, she looks like she's okay. Yep, excellent. Oh, I think they might just put, oh, it's either the RG I'm stuck on or it's the rock, yeah, the RG. Okay, so, she is not the fastest machine in the world. Let's get the RG following us. And let's begin the long walk back to base. Um, oh, actually, this is going to be a problem. Yep. <laughs> Alright, let's... Uh, uh, I'm going to need to... Oh, where's the RG gone? Oh, it's, it's in the Bron Tower. Okay, uh, oh, there we go. Alright, I'm going to have to set her to um, change her follow distance. 
uh, change or change the RG's follow distance, sorry, to uh, highest probably, and then it'll trail a little bit behind us rather than flying right up our backside, um, because otherwise the RG will just get stuck between the Bronto's legs, and like you saw, they'll just stop dead in their tracks. Um, this is going to be a painful enough journey <laughs> without uh, uh, any further interference. All right. So now we're going to go the full length of the river uh, next to Green Ob, all the way down to the coast uh, where our base is. So this is going to be. Is that a barry there? Oh, hang on. Let's see through my own saddle. Uh, level 20. Okay, that's terrible. So we might go and kill that. Actually, you know what? These you see these trees here that uh, with the sort of bow roots that uh, go into the swampland. These are meant, uh, I believe they're mangrove trees, and so these can give you rare flowers when you harvest them. And the best thing, the way the best thing for harvesting rare flowers is in fact a bronto. So what I might do. Um, is I might first I might kill this baryonyx uh, so that a better one spawns and we might also see if we can harvest ourselves some rare flowers while we're here uh, because I don't much fancy coming back <laughs> so if we can get them while we're on the way let's get rid of this uh, barry first we should be fine we got a 150 bronto There we go. Face of cake. Alright. Let's see if we can get ourselves some rare flowers from these trees before we head back to base. Because uh, if we get ourselves a beehive or something like that at some stage, um, then we're, we'll need rare flowers to feed that and keep producing bees. But we've got ourselves 16. That's a good start. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to farm up a fair few of them and then uh, start heading back. So that journey took 25 minutes, and at that pace was most definitely not engaging content for video. So, uh, so I cut all that out, and here we are back at base. That was one hell of a week. Pretty much walked through the night, and halfway through the next day. But we got our Bronto, and look, look at that. Look how many berries it harvests. Oh, I am. My berry problems are over. Thatch as well, so awesome thatch gatherer. Now this is on one times, so you can see 144 narco uh, berries in one hit. Um, I've got I tend to level up uh, melee in these guys, so it'll improve the amount of berries that they gather. You can level up weight, you can even level up movement speed. But as you can see, I've got heaps of berries around my base, so. I'm not going to ever have to do more than just a lap around the building uh, with the, the Bronto to get all the berries I need. So we're all good. Look at that. Brilliant. And we got some rare flowers as well while we were in the swamp. Nice. So it was the next day and I'd resumed my Megatherium hunt. And I'm just in, sort of like in the same spot, I'm pretty much next to where I found the Bronto. Um, that was over that way. And then you've got this uh, swamp area. And I'm just going to keep an eye out for anything that might be worth taming. This is a good spot for Baryonyx as well, um, in this swamp area. And I've even seen Rhino Mathia there. There's a, is that a, that's a dead Thyla. Okay. All right, well, uh, have your meat. Okay, so yeah, this corner tip of the redwoods here, um, I often use this spot for megatheriums over here, and there's one. What have we got? We got a 120. Nice, okay. 120, not the best, but we'll take that. Now at this stage it's worth mentioning that when recording this video I was expecting to use this megatherium in the swamp cave. Um, now I was aware of the fact that because I wasn't using cryopods um, I wouldn't be able to get it back out again because you can kind of glitch it through the, um, the 
entrance, like the inside entrance to the main cave, um, and you can glitch it across a certain point to get to the back end of the cave, um, but you cannot get it back, not without um, actually using cryopods. Now, because I wasn't using cryopods, I figured this guy was going to be disposable, um, and I was just going to use him for XP in the swamp cave, uh, getting a load of chitin, uh, dump him at the entrance and basically just get out of there <laughs> um, on foot, hopefully, uh, with some bug repellent and stuff. Uh, so I wasn't going to get too attached to him. Then it did uh, sort of occur to me later on that you can't even get them in the entrance to the swamp cave. So that plan kind of went out the window. But uh, still, these guys are great for chitin gathering and thatch as well. They're pretty good for so let's get ourselves a trap down. So for this, um, I'm using just a two by two foundation trap. Uh, two high walls will be enough to um, for this guy to keep him trapped. So we'll do one wall all the way around. See, it's a second wall on top. That'll stop him getting out. They can glitch over a two high wall sometimes, but generally it's enough is a bit of a waste. Nice! Alright, and then we'll put a bit of a ramp at the front to lead him into the trap. I'm going to use stone stairs. This is just like my standard sort of trap kit that I carry around with me everywhere. Um, so you can make, you know, any sort of pitfall trap with this gear. The stone stairs, you can use wooden ramps. Um, I tend to use stone stairs if I'm if I'm stone rich. Uh, okay, those I need to whack an extra foundation underneath there. So one more foundation out. That's it. Will allow me then to place stairs on either one, um, and that'll give me a nice solid ramp. Yeah, you can use wooden ramps, uh, but if you're taming like rexes and things like that, they tend to chomp the ramps. So if you can afford the stone. Now I'm also going to whack, I'm going to whack a third level just on the back there because these guys gain a bit of momentum when they're chasing you um, and sometimes they can just clear the trap entirely uh, and end up back out on the other side. Uh, let's get his attention. Bit of a love kiss. Oh, let's try and avoid the bear if we can. So I want to bring down here. Uh, Make sure we've still got aggro. Oh yeah, 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 okay, let's go up here and head towards the trap. Straight on, yep, that's it, let him punch us over the trap. Straight in, textbook, look at that. Oh, professional here, nice. <laughs> The, uh, you got to say, the amount of times that that goes wrong versus the amount of times that, that goes right is, uh, is overwhelmingly in the wrong category, <laughs> to be fair. Alright, so, we've got ourselves, uh, we've grabbed some Trank arrows and some darts, we'll, we'll use, now, you can use a crossbow to knock these guys out, but there is a possibility of killing them. Um, so what I like to do is I use Trank darts for the most piece, uh, and then um, I'll probably finish them off with arrows. So this is going to take a little while. These guys take a uh, quite a few um, darts or arrows to knock out. So I'm just going to sit here and pump a load of uh, tranks into him, and I'll bring you back when he knocks out. Okay, so we're doing the uh, more delay in between shots. And hopefully it works out better than it did with the Bronto. You see I've switched to the crossbow, like I said. Uh, this one should be fine. It's not even bloody, to be honest. It should be close to knocking out now. And there we go. One last shot. Brilliant. Okay. Yep. No damage done. Okay, well, let's get back to base. And let's go and get ourselves some honey. Now, this morning is an Evo weekend, so we're on two times right now, meaning this guy will take 9 bee honey, or 7 superior kibble. Um, I've also put the 1 times taming requirements there on the left. Uh, he won't need any narcs to stay down, and will take 25 minutes to tame in. 
So we've got plenty of time. Uh, we've got 49 minutes to go and find our honey, and we're going to head back to the spot where we built the platform leading up to the beehive. Here we go, and heading up to the platform, no beehive. So what I didn't realise that was while I was offline, an update happened that reset all the dino spawns. So my beehive was gone. I had a, a platform to nothing. So out of sheer frustration, I killed a nearby psycho and headed my way back to base. Looks like this is going to be a kibble tape. <laughs> okay, so back at base. Now luckily my moss chops have been doing their job and have been busy at work providing superior kibble eggs. So I had plenty of kibble for the tame. It wasn't really that big an issue. So let's grab that, head back to the Megatherium. Should be ready to tame in there. And here we are. Okay, let's chuck our kibble in. This guy should tame straight up, so um, kibble taming would have taken even less time than doing it with honey. There he goes, taming straight up. Beautiful. And we've got our Megatherium. Okay. So I also made a saddle for it. I'm going to call this guy Don't Get Attached. <laughs> so this guy is going to be purely sacrificial. We'll be taking him in the swamp cave to level up and then we'll be leaving him there. <laughs> so, alright. Let's demolish. So some people use the Megatherium for the Broodmother boss fight. I don't tend to use them because while well, they get the bug buff when they kill the spiders, um, it's a tricky thing to coordinate if you're a solo player and no one's riding any of them. So I find Rex is a far better solution. Um, plus these guys are really hard to find in high levels. <laughs> Now the walk back to base was significantly quicker than the Bronto. These guys cut quite a pace. Um, and they're actually pretty decent to ride. Uh, they're a pretty good mount, to be honest, the, the uh, Megatherium. Uh, we can tell the weather pulled out all stops for us. And we've got a cracking day here. So, we're going to pop the Megatherium in here. The Zen Master. And the reason why so I call him the Zen Master because of they got this really cool feature where you can sit them down so there's an option on the wheel that says sit down and it look at that how, how cool is that <laughs> and they just they look like they're meditating <laughs> fantastic all right so I hope you enjoyed today's video, maybe got something out of it. Uh, if you did, then drop me a like and maybe subscribe if you like the content and you want to see more. So what was your favourite unplanned tame? So you were doing something else and the perfect tame just popped into existence. What was it? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. I'm Llama and I'm out of here.